What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on my channel. Now today, I finally received a pre-order that I've been waiting for for quite some time. It is Rambo 3 by 30 So the packaging is a little similar to the Hot Toys version. Um, I don't own the Hot Toys Rambo 3 figure. But I have seen pictures and the packaging does look a little similar. As you can see, it's got Rambo on the front. Um, that picture's from the movie uh, promo pic um, posters. Uh, it says Rambo 3 on the side. On the back, it also has a picture of Rambo and the credits and usual warnings. And it also has, um, you can hardly see it in the video, but it has um, writing on the front and back, which is blended into the actual packaging you can hardly see it in the video but what it does say on the front god would have mercy john rambo wouldn't and on the back it says the first was for himself the second for his country this time it's to save his friend so you, you can hardly see that writing in the video but um it's a nice little touch that they put on there um yeah look i'm pretty happy with the packaging so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take out all the accessories that John Rambo comes with. So here are all the accessories that Rambo comes with. Uh, what we'll start off with first. Uh, let's take a look at... We'll go with the hands. So let's have a look at the different types of hands that you get with the figure. So you get a whole bunch of them. Fairly well detailed, bit of a tan on them. Uh, you've got ones to hold these guns. His bow and arrow, I mean, in his knife and uh, the rocket launcher. You also get some spare wrist pegs and a neck peg and these spare buttons uh, in case they fall off. A um, couple of the items you can replace them. You also get a plastic bomb, not too badly detailed. You get his necklace. You get a watch. We like it when they include watches with figures. Nice little touch. You get um, the bag to hold his arrows. And they just sort of sit in there. So you grab them and you just sort of slide them in. And I think you can fit about five of them. It's got nice weathering on it as well, as you can see. Nice detail on it. You also get this um, side bag, which you can put the bomb in there. So yeah, you can uh, put this plastic bomb in that bag. That's not too bad. You also get a pocket in the back. What are we going to look at next? Uh, let's take a look at his knife. His big knife. The Rambo knife. It's nicely done. I like it. It's a fairly decent size. This is with the arrows. We'll have a look at the arrows. So you get a couple of different tips arrows. And they're nicely done as well. And then you get his bow. And these arrows can actually... Uh, you can actually store them on the side of the bow there. They are a little bit um, stiff to put onto those clips. So you do want to be careful. If you put them in too hard might be a bit difficult to take them out and then you might break them but they, it's, it is fairly well detailed you can see some weathering on it some scratches look at uh, some of the clothing let's have a look at the clothing so you get the singlet also has some weathering on it um, nice material the jacket as well I think it's nicely done you can see all the, the mud and the weathering on it so it looks like it's really been worn. It's got the pockets, they open up inside. Not, not much to it on the inside. The back's also got some weathering. So I do like that they've had that. The rocket launcher is fairly big. It's nicely painted as well. That obviously, the rocket obviously comes out. Uh, don't think anything else sort of 
sort of moves. I don't think, I think that's all you can sort of do with it. Now the rocket does feel like it sort of wants to fall out, so it might be a bit of a pain when you oppose him. And then you've got his gun. I really like this gun. I think it's detailed well. Uh, it's painted nice. You can move the rocket launcher on the bottom. That moves. The back part also moves. And you can take the magazine out. It's got a bullet in there, as you can see. So, decent gun. You can see all the withering on it. Yeah, there you can see all the scratches and weathering. It's nicely done. And that is all the accessories that Rambo comes with. So now we'll take a look at the movement that you get with Rambo. Now before we do that, um, the arms are seamless. Now in the promo pics, it did look a little ugly when his arm was bent 90 degrees. And unfortunately, you do still get that ugly um, sort of crease in the arm, but obviously with the seamless arm, there's not much else they could have done. All right, let's get into the movement. Now he's got a solid boot, so you don't get any ankle movement. The legs don't move too well because of the pants restricting them. So I can only get him to about there. And then obviously going back as well, you're pretty restricted because of the pants. The knees bend quite well, as you can see. You do get a little bit of upper thigh movement and you can do the splits a little bit, just got to be careful you don't rip the pants. His waist is on like a ball joint type thing, so you get a lot of movement there. As you can see, it does go pretty well forward and back and the arms do go a decent amount outwards, but it's got a weird ball joint as you can see under the armpits. His arms do go pretty far forward, you can actually go more than that, and back you can go pretty far, actually you can do a 360 with the arms, because they're on a, a ball joint, so, oh no, you can go to about there. His elbows do bend quite nicely, but again you get that weird crease, the biceps got a little bit of movement at the top, and the wrists move quite nice. The neck does move a little bit forward and back you do get a little bit of movement just got to be careful of the hair not scratching the body and you can move the head left and right again you've got to be careful of the hair not scratching the paint on the body now I'm going to show you how to put the singlet on to do that you need to remove his arms so I've already done that and as you can see there's a ball joint in there and they sort of pop on a bit like the Thor um, it's an 84 figure, so they just pop, pop off quite nicely, and then you just put the singlet over the top, like so. A little bit of a struggle, and there you go. And then the last step is obviously to put the arms back in, and also his head. And I just want to show you on this figure, it's got a weird seam, just on one side, it's on the left, you can see there, it runs the hole from his armpit down to his um, waist. And it's only on this side. And it's not on the, on the right side, so I don't know why they've done that. And the joint between his, uh, and you can see the, when you move his waist, you can see the weird joint in there. So I just wanted to show you that. So we've got him there on the rotating stand, just so you can take a good look at him. Uh, he does look quite um, quite decent once you start posing him up. I think 3-0 have done a really amazing job with this figure. I'm going to say it's probably the best Rambo that we have on the market. Hot Toys have done versions of Rambo, but I have seen pictures of them and I don't like them. Um, so I do hope 3-0 may do some other Stallone figures, maybe revisit the Rocky figures and give us some um, updated versions of that. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Some minor details on the figure that could have been improved. I really wish they included a second head sculpt because 
I'm assuming 3-0 won't continue this line. This would be a one-off figure. So maybe having an action face, head sculpt or something different, just so we could uh, pose this figure in different styles would have been pretty cool. A um, couple of things that I picked on was that seam on the body. The wrist pegs are very noticeable. Um, what else? That joint between the waist is noticeable. Uh, but other than that, there's not too much else. I love the amount of accessories you get with this figure. Um, the clothing with the detail, uh, the detail on the clothing with the weathering. Same on his boots. Um, even the tan on the body. The detail on that head sculpt. I think 3-0 have absolutely smashed out of the park with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they've done a pretty good job with this figure. And I really encourage him to um, continue with this type of quality of figures because we need other companies to take on the giants like Hot Toys because this will bring competition, which is good for us consumers as this may help bring the pricing of these figures down. Um, but yeah, look overall, I'm pretty happy with this. So that wraps up this review guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you wanna check me out on Facebook and Instagram, I will leave those details below. Also check out my Facebook, group six girl club so you can uh, share your passion with uh, one six girls uh, youtube videos related to one six girls or just simply help others on one six girls well that's it guys i'll see you next time on the channel catch you later and as always take care